Basketball fans in Iowa have a lot to look forward to this March Madness. University of Iowa, Drake, and Iowa State all sending teams to the tournament. So much fun. Our Griffin Wright joins us live from Drake University with a look at how the Bulldogs reacted when they found out their opponents. Good morning, Griffin. Good morning, Justin and Kaylin. So players and fans packed into the NAP Center yesterday to uh, get ready for that announcement that they are the 10th seed. And not only the 10th seed, but they'll be playing pretty close to home with their first game. Here's the moment that they found out about that seed placement and that they'll be playing in Omaha against 7th seed Washington State for the first game of the tournament. The Bulldogs have made it to the NCAA tournament three of the last four seasons under head coach Darren DeVries, but they haven't made it to the final four since the 70s. But this year might be their year. I think everybody's just excited. It's two hours, uh, two hours away. So, um, you know, last year we had to travel to, to Albany and a lot of fans weren't able to make it. We have a young team and for them to have this experience and for them to be champions is, is amazing. If we're playing like we've been playing, uh, I think we're a tough matchup for a lot of teams. Uh, and, you know, wherever that can take us, we're, we're going to continue to just play our heart. Now the Bulldogs will take on uh, Washington State this Thursday, late this Thursday, uh, at Omaha. And uh, that is a nice thing to see. It means a lot more of those fans uh, can make that two hour drive over to Omaha to support the Bulldogs. And that makes a big difference for those players uh, when they're heading into that tournament. But it's not just the men's team. Uh, the women's team is in the tournament too. Uh, and a lot of other Iowa teams really just a, a great, great week, uh, upcoming couple weeks for Iowa basketball. It sure is, Griffin. A lot of excitement heading into the tournament with local uh, flavor there. Thank you, Griffin, reporting live from Drake University.